All right, keeping it with the oil story, S. K. Shivasa, former CMD of Oil India and former Director General Hydrocarbons, uh, joins in with his perspective uh, to offer some clarity on all the news flow that's uh, influencing uh, the oil and gas sector. Mr. Shivasa, it's great to have you on the show. Crude is surging. What options are on the table given the environment to tackle the issue? Let's start off with that simply first. Yeah, thank you. I think the uh, very first thing I would like to say that any, any measure which we take today has really long term implications. It has, so, any measure which we take today has to be in sync with the reforms which has gone into past 10, 15 years like deregulation of, petro, uh, deregulation of petroleum product prices and also it has to be in sync with the uh, investment climate, the whole globe is looking India as an investment destination. So, whatever decision we take has really long term repercussions, long term effect on, uh, on the global community who is looking at India as an investment de de destination. And also, uh, we just heard, heard in the news that uh, the upstream companies may have to pay uh, some kind of uh, windfall tax. Now, we also have to see that the wind, windfall tax if we impose on the upstream companies, we need to look at the health of the companies. ONGC, Oil India, we have to see that they have also their own capex plan. As on today, I believe that they, they are profitable only at the, uh, at the, uh, at the crude oil prices uh, of 65 to 70 barrels per, ba uh, 75, 65 to 70 dollars per barrel. And we have gone, we have done away with this subsidy sharing by NOCs. So, and also we have seen in the past when the prices were, the deregulation was not done, especially we have today in the upstream space, we have pri private players in the downstream place, uh, we have also have uh, private players. Now, when the uh, prices were controlled, it was not deregulated. We have seen the, especially in the downstream sector, the private petrol pumps were just shut down for very long time. Only after the uh, petrol and diesel prices were fully derog derog deregulated, then these private players, uh, they started opening their petrol pumps. So, any decision which we take today, we have options uh, like, you know, reducing the excise by the center, reducing uh, VAT by the state government. So, we can look at such, such options which we, and we also should not look at, you know, short term measures like this. We should look at uh, some kind of auto correct structural, structural measure and uh, in fact, uh, government has been, uh, intentions have been very clear. In fact, uh, uh, I just uh, saw the entry of uh, uh, Mr. Amit Shah, President of BJP that this is a very, this petrol, uh, crude oil prices are very serious issue and we have to find a solution. Our Petroleum Minister, Mr. Dharmen Pradhan has gone extra mile in going to requesting oil producers to reduce the petrol uh, to crude oil prices, uh, crude oil prices and keep it in a moderate level. I also said that, uh, I also read the Sri Ravi Shankar Prasadji, our law minister, that this is a very, very serious problem and we have to find a solution. So, solution which you have to find today for this uh, crude oil price surges, it has to be a long term it has to be some kind of auto correct, it has to be structural and it should be in benefit of all the stakeholders. Right, no, absolutely. But you know, if the burden gets bigger than what the calculations have worked in uh, and it falls upon upstream companies, um, having managed Oil India, how damaging can it be for the financials? It will be quite damaging. You see, one thing we have to uh, remember that any oil and gas produced today by the national oil companies, ONGC and Oil India, has really it cuts down the cuts down the import burden on the country. So today, the ONGC has almost 32,000 crore capex for this current year. Oil India is, is having about 4,300 crore capex for this year. Now, any investment made today is going to, we are going to actually secure the uh, energy, uh, oil security uh, for the country for future. So, uh, my personal view at, at, and also the, uh, during the administered, pro, uh, administered price regime, this was, uh, this was, you know, this uh, subsidy sharing came sometimes in early 2000 and slowly uh, governments realized that this is, the, if we have to really liberalize the economy, 
is this is subsidy sharing formula is not going to work so we have done away done away with this so right now if we really tinker the uh, you know financials of the nocs especially you know a uh, lot of uh, these people have to do lot of, lot of exploration work lot of development work so we, lot of capex will be needed for this so my personal view that at this time the uh, the reducing uh, uh, reducing central and state duties will be a more more appropriate action rather than uh, putting any burden on the uh, oil and gas companies up steam mm. no that indeed is the case uh, uh, you know especially with the, the recent transaction with hpcl can ongc afford to take on one more liability um, you know what would this do for their own capex plans Yeah, that is a that is a issue. I think I believe last year ONGC's capex is has gone almost seventy two thousand crores. This year ONGC has a capex plan of thirty two thousand crore. So and also as you know they discover oil and gas, they will need more and more money for developing. And now the easy areas of oil and gas are uh, are gone. Now they have to go to in the frontier areas, in the difficult areas, in the deep water areas. So where the more and more capex will be needed. so at this time i i feel that in the coming years both ongc and oil india will need lot of capex for uh, meeting their exploration development and production requirements so uh, this time i think uh, both uh, central government and state governments have to come together and also see that you know th that the national oil companies health is not uh, deteriorated because of this subsidy uh, uh, burden sharing okay uh you know i go back to the same issue which you also flagged off and tanvi discussed which is that we've really done nothing to secure our energy security needs time and again we go back to that same problem that india is dependent on imported crude when crude prices come down we are not investing properly when ongc and oil india when they have made money we take out money because we have to protect uh, other things when there is time to buy assets we've not invested we have not also let uh, private sector and the you know entrepreneurship take over the oil business in india in a meaningful manner so it just goes back to that same circle which keeps on getting repeated and repeated as the inflation and economy is growing our energy demands are growing and over the years our energy uh, our internal energy uh, production or crude production is only declining see that is the more that is more the reason why we should not disturb the uh, the financials of the oil, uh, our domestic oil and gas companies as of now out of you know 3.3.2 million square kilometer almost 1 million square kilometer area remains unexplored government of india has come up with the, uh, recently the olp dsf round 1 dsf round 2 and uh, eor iur uh, 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 policies also is on the uh, on the annual now all these things will really, really add to the uh, security oil security from the domestic front and any one barrel oil produced from the uh, from the do, uh, domestically reduces one barrel one uh, one barrel uh, cost of the uh, imp import burden on the on the government so this is something which we do need to look in a wider wider perspective for some reason Uh, almost one third of the india sedimentary basin area is remains unexplored so we need to we need to really put lot of lot of effort lot of money and then uh, putting a subsidy burden on the national oil companies basically if you look at the domestic production uh, dom domestic consumption rather so the oil india ongc and kane put together they produce something like uh, you know 25% uh, sorry about 22% of the domestic crude and ongc oil india if you take which is about 18 to 20% of the domestic crude production so for this 18 to 20% domestic crude production and then we are having 80 80% imports so we uh, you know just to Uh, adjust that that we uh, i mean uh, that 80 uh, uh, pressure of 80% import burden uh, i mean it will not be very very prudent to burden the national oil companies which uh, whose share is only about 20% uh, crude oil production yeah we completely understand that so it's a catch 22 and there are no easy answers here but we still need to try uh, and work out uh, some perspective for the benefit of our viewers mr shivasa thanks very much for taking out the time to speak with us this morning